Hello, Michael here with Success for Others, and today I want to talk about the basic reasons why maintenance agreements are so critical to your business. Now, listen, any in home service business, you know, cash flow is king, right? I mean, at the end of the day, it really comes down to, you know, cash and our position of cash to make sure that the company is doing everything it needs to do and providing for its employees as well as providing for its customers. And maintenance agreements have the biggest impact on a company's cash position than, quite frankly, anything else that we can offer. And yet, as I travel around, I notice so many service companies that do not offer or do not believe in maintenance agreement, maintenance agreement sales, and it just kind of blows my mind. And some of the excuses I've heard are, well, they're just a lost leader, and you know, there's no money to be made on maintenance agreements, and we don't have the time in the fall and in the spring to get to all of these hundreds, if not thousands, of, of customers. We just don't have that number of employees to support that. And you know, at the end of the day, um, all of which of those are just excuses because when it's time, when it really comes down to time to sell your business or an exit strategy or anything else, or really evaluating what your business is worth. Maintenance agreement contracts are probably one of the biggest things that an investor or a potential buyer um, is even going to look at and really going to probably ask in the first, I don't know, four sentences of questions that they ask the business owner. And the reason for that is, let's face it, we can get the vans, we can hire employees. The real thing that we're buying when we purchase an HVAC company or we're evaluating an HVAC company is the worth of the customer base. And if you don't have customers on a maintenance agreement, agreement contract, whether that be annually or biannually, and don't have that customer locked up, well, at the end of the day, you just have a direct mail list, you just have a phone list, you really don't have a loyal customer base, and those customers can go anywhere, um, and it's in their fate, not in yours. So, you know, the biggest reason why maintenance agreements are critical to your business is it creates customer loyalty. And today's business, in the, in the environment of today's business, customer satisfaction is pretty much deemed useless. I mean, let's face it, if you are not making your customers happy, or if your employees are not out at a customer's home making them happy, then they're not going to call you again and you're going to lose them as a customer. So customer satisfaction, although important, not critical. It's a minimum expectation in today's business world. The real goal is customer loyalty. How do you keep the customers in your database coming back to you year after year after year so that you can service not only their immediate needs but also their future uh, needs as well. And that's what leads to consistent residual income. And so here, here's something to think about, something to look at for all of the naysayers or for all the people out there that don't believe that maintenance agreements are the right thing for them, for their company, or heaven forbid, for their customers. First of all, your customers benefit from a maintenance agreement because for a number of reasons, but the biggest being to ensure their health and safety, right? To make sure that this system is, is providing the healthiest, safety, safest environment for them and their family because we're dealing with a lot of uncontrollable things here and a lot of dangerous components. So, you know, that is probably the biggest thing is just a health and safety factor. But then in addition to that, let's just look at, you know, indoor air quality and comfort and utility costs and all the other reasons why people invest in HVAC services, products, and solutions. So maintenance agreements are one, are required by every manufacturer to uphold their warranty, so that's important to the customer. Two, important to ensure that they're not overpaying the utility company month in and month out, year in and year out. Three, ensures that the customer is, is, has a safe operating system for them and their family and their home. And number four, really designed to um, you know reduce noise and just give the customer a, a, the best level of comfort that they can in their home and let's face it you know people will invest money in your organization or in your services if you can increase their comfort more so than they'll invest if you can reduce their utility costs so that's a little factoid for you that's 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 kind of a, a strong and something that you should really pay attention on when assessing a customer's needs so let's break it down to again I don't know the size of every company that's watching this right now so I, this is just an introduction video this is a very elementary video we will continue to build upon this foundation in the future but today let's just look at a small small organization 
and we'll just look at one technician. Now, if you have more than one technician, that's fine. Just multiply these numbers by the number of technicians you have. So one technician, let's just say, runs three calls a day on average throughout the year. So day in, day out, year in, year out, they're running an average of three calls a day times five days a week. That would be Monday through Friday. That's gonna mean that that service technician or one service technician can be in 15 different homes every single week. And that is a very low number. I mean, I know a lot of you watching this video are like, wow, three calls a day, I wish, right? I mean, this is extremely conservative. So if you take that 15 calls a week and you multiply that by 50 weeks, that's gonna give you 750 opportunities in a year per technician. So that's per tech. So if you have two technicians, then obviously you'd be in 1,500 homes minimum a year. Now, let's just look, I mean, sales is nothing more than a numbers game, right? I mean, it's just a matter of, of, of numbers. So if you were to sign up five out of 10 people who didn't currently have a maintenance program onto a maintenance program that your company offered and that would allow you access to their home and to that customer's equipment twice a year, and that would be a 50% closing or um, acquisition rate, right? That's 50% closing rate, five out of 10. So that would be 375 maintenance agreements per technician per year at a 50% closing ratio. Now, if you sell a maintenance agreement for somewhere around, I don't know, and I'm just using math here just to use it as an example, whatever your price is, your price is, some people charge as little as $99 a year and other people charge as much as $400 a year. So let's just find something in the middle and say it's $195 a year times those 375 opportunities that you converted, that would actually translate into revenue or into hard cash for your company of $73,125 of cash per year just from one technician. So again, if you have three technicians, five technicians, 20 technicians, just multiply that number by however many technicians you have and it'll give you the opportunity that maintenance agreements can bring to your business from a revenue strand standpoint. Now revenue cash is king, right? I mean, at the end of the day, an extra $73,000 a year on a small organization is gonna have a huge impact on, on how that company operates. Because let's face it, we all have peaks and valleys of business. You have the hot season, the cold season, you know, there's the, then there's these slow seasons in between where mother nature may not bless us with the phone ringing off the hook. And what are you doing in that time? Well, you can be running maintenance agreements. Now, here's the misconception of maintenance agreements. You're not just going to the house to blow off and inspect the equipment. That is just, you know, that, that's what most people think. Well, I'm gonna go and test the equipment, write it up and, and then leave, and then hopefully, you know, um, um, you know, we'll see whatever we can see. The whole point of getting into a house twice a year, the same house again and again and again, first and foremost is to build that relationship with that customer, to build that loyalty and that top of mind awareness that we all, you know, spend tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars a year on in our organizations already. So that is built in with maintenance agreements. You are there, you're top of mind awareness, people think about you when it happens, and you've really gotten that loyalty. But on the other side of that as well is, when you go into a maintenance, 80% of your focus should be on communicating with the customer and identifying what is it that their goals are, what are their needs, what are their wants, what are their desires, and how can you help or how can certain products that you have in your arsenal or in your tool bag or in your service van help them accomplish those goals and so the real reason why we go on maintenance agreements is not only to ensure the safety and make sure the existing equipment is operating within manufacturer specifications but more importantly to identify additional opportunities that we can help this customer achieve additional goals because let's face it most customers don't know that the comfort problems that they've experienced in their house for the last five years or ten years or however long they've been in the house can be solved. And today's technician is so highly trained and so highly skilled that they have the airflow knowledge, the diagnostic knowledge to really have a positive impact on those comfort challenges throughout the house. They also have the knowledge um, of, of the different accessories and different things out there that help protect that customer's equipment as well as their, their family and their home. And we'll just, you know, float switches are a great example of that. Surge protectors, you know, humidifiers, dehumidifiers,
humidifiers, air purification systems, all of these things that our customers can be benefiting from, this is the opportunity where we can identify those needs, educate them on different options available to them, and then ask them if they'd like to you know, explore one of those options further or if they'd like to have that upgrade or that accessory added on to their house. And, and the key is, is how we translate and how we educate the customer and how we create that emotion when we're in the home. And that's something that we would be happy to help you with as well. But today's message, let's stay focused here, is strictly on the opportunity maintenance agreements bring to you, your employees, and your company and most importantly arguably most importantly the benefits it brings to your customers so if you're not offering maintenance agreements right now to 100 percent of the clients that you're seeing on a day-to-day week-to-week basis then i strongly encourage you to look into maintenance agreements give us a call reach out let's have a conversation over the phone about this because there's a lot of opportunity i feel that's being missed and a lot of benefits to your company as well as your customer database um, that we're just walking past right now. So that's really it for today's message. If you need any help, you need any assistance whatsoever with creating a maintenance agreement program or just refining the one that you have, please feel free to reach out to us. You can reach us at www.success4others.com. You can email um, any one of us at any time with any questions you have or just give us a phone call. We would be happy to help. If you haven't connected with us on Facebook and LinkedIn yet, I encourage you to do so. Again, my name is Michael Goder with Success for Others and we are happy to help whenever needed. Thank you so much.